one thing we have to recognize in order to do work such as this is that even though this is, these are troubling times and there are a lot of difficulties going on for everyone, that we deserve to feel happy and that we need to have at least some short periods, at least some moments where we can take a break from all the uncertainty and all the panic and our plans of what to do next and just see if we can take a moment for ourselves to just feel happy, feel comfortable. And yes, happy, you know, to not be afraid to say the word happy, even in a time where it feels even inappropriate to be happy, but to just actually be fully in a place of comfort and in a place of balance, even just for a moment when things aren't going well, when things are uncertain, when there's difficulties either in our homes, in our families, with our loved ones and friends, and certainly uh, the case in the world, although it's arguable that it's arguably always the case in the world that there are plenty of things to be concerned about. So we need to be able to have that heart open enough to the, to the possibility and the willingness to, I need a break, I deserve a break. Even when things aren't going well, I deserve to be happy at times. I deserve that moment, that rejuvenating, replenishing moment. And so we first need to open up to that idea and be willing to feel totally calm and comfortable and balanced and healed and fresh and alert, even in a time when normally we would be taught that it would be inappropriate to feel that way. Because deep down, we do have some agree agreement that we've made where, where it feels like, no, I shouldn't relax now. I shouldn't take a break. I shouldn't feel comfortable now because there's too much to do or too much to be concerned about. And that brings a lot of suffering to ourselves. That agreement we might have made deep down that we wish we didn't have, right? But we, we've made that agreement deep down. And because we have that, it even reduces the quality of what we're going to do and how we're going to act when we're acting from that place of struggle. And if we are able to have a break and a period of comfort in the midst of difficult times, even when it doesn't seem appropriate to, the action that follows and the energy that we bring to the situation is of a higher quality. There's a sense that, and I want to redirect this sense so that we're all on the same page for this meditation. There's a sense in a lot of us from what we've learned in the past that you shouldn't feel comfortable, you shouldn't feel at peace because then I won't do anything. Then I won't have the motivation and the get up and go to, to provide for my family or to solve difficult situations. And so it, seemed, it, it often feels like society wants us to feel uncomfortable and unsettled. And we, we welcome that in a lot of cases so that we can keep going, keep striving, keep moving. But in my experience and many experiences of those that are able to come to a place of comfort now and again inside, true comfort, uh, that that's not the case at all. That we moving through the world and making decisions, it comes from a sense of purpose, a sense of alignment 
and some understanding about what it is that we need to do and being in alignment with what it is that we're supposed to do is enough to make us flow through the world and make the right decisions. We, we don't require angst and that feeling of, oh, I have to get to the end and I have to get to the goal and once I get there, things will be okay. We don't require that. We could actually potentially be okay now and then we would still work towards things. We would still accomplish a lot and what we accomplish will be more in line with our purpose, our, our duty in Sanskrit and in, in Hindu. They'll say your dharma, which is your, your duty or your purpose in, in this lifetime. Not to be confused with dhamma, which is the, the higher teachings of the Buddha, or the teachings on higher truth. All right, so now that I have most of us in line with welcoming the opportunity to take a moment, take a period here to just rest and relax and be free of any of our concerns, worries, sadness, and give ourselves that little, that small period of a little space to be happy, to be balanced, to feel love. So we can do that now and hopefully everybody who is going to join today has been able to join and we can all just close our eyes if we like, if we prefer to close our eyes. And I'll guide us in a simple meditation and you are welcome to do follow all my instructions and you're also welcome to drift off because I think the priority here is the healing, not the being attentive to what I'm saying. Receiving energy, receiving light, just, just for you. I'd like this to happen. I'd like to give you a moment. I'd like you all to just have a moment for you. And even anybody that might be listening to this later on, not live, to, to take this opportunity to, to just have a moment for you that love and beautiful energy is here for you right now to, to support you. To love you. You've made the decision to, to be here in this moment, and this was a decision for you so that you can take a moment and, and be a recipient of something that you need and that we all need from time to time. So start by just feeling happy that you made this decision for yourself and nobody else, just for this moment. We have lots of people and we care about and that we have to care about and it's part of our purpose to care about, but not right in this moment, just for the next little while. I want this to be just for you. To replenish you. And just allow yourself to feel good about that. And recognize that I deserve and I need to get a real nice dose of feeling loved and appreciated. And this might be emotional for some of you, an emotional cleansing, and you know, feel free to, to not have the camera on. It's okay, I can see 
your name if you don't want to have the camera on, if you feel like this might be emotional or that the camera gets in the way of you being able to truly, fully take a break for yourself, then take a moment to, to close the camera. And the approach is to be in a position where a physical position and uh, emotionally in the position to, to receive, receive love. How does it feel? How does it feel? You can use your imagination to help. Imagine that Your body is sitting and breathing just right in the position that it is now. There's a smile on your face. And then we sense our heart or the middle of our chest. And we try to make that smile too. And we try to have that area as something vulnerable. Something that has a sweet smile, but vulnerable in the sense that it's willing to feel whatever I actually feel. And humility, not letting any doubts or skepticism or any of these kinds of things in the way, Inquis our inquisitive nature, we can leave that in the head. And we allow the heart to just be innocent and welcoming, not knowing, welcoming, not understanding, welcoming, not really doing anything but just free to be however it is. And then we can imagine that this body of ours sitting, breathing, and this heart of ours that is smiling and receptive in a very gentle way is surrounded by bright, beautiful light of any color we wish. So it might be golden like the sun. Often that's the easiest to imagine. It could be bright white light or any of the colors of the spectrum that we enjoy being immersed in. It could just come to us naturally. It could be our favorite color or a color that we find soothing, loving. And that color, and that bright light, just get a sense that it's in front of us. If your imagination isn't great, it doesn't matter. You can just get a sense that there's some flickering in front of you. If your imagination is strong at visualizing, let's not get too carried away in, in in lots of imagery, but just get a sense that there is love around us, healing around us, light around us, around you. And that with every breath, without any effort, with any, have any, any really trying at all, we just know with each breath 
that this light is making its way into us. It's making its way in through the breath, but also with each breath, and we can sense we can sense it when the breath gets very subtle, but it's always a little bit true. that our surroundings make their way in through our pores as well. But this light seeps in. And it's seeping into us now, whether we're able to feel that sensation or not, that absolutely doesn't matter. In fact, however well or not that you're able to meditate, visualize, concentrate, any of these things have no matter that you're still receiving healing and you're still being provided the space in which to receive love and appreciation and balance. And as you breathe and allow this to be absorbed, reflect on some characteristics of the beautiful energy that's around you. What does it feel like to be fully loved? What is it like when love is flooding in and seeping into the heart? Not our love for someone, but we can have a sense of somebody that really truly loved us like we felt that. For me, I felt it from grandparents that were just happy I was alive. They didn't really, there were periods where they, they didn't care what I was doing or how if I was making good decisions or bad decisions or if my parents were upset with me or anything like that, they're just happy I'm alive and love me because I exist. And that was an experience for me. I had that with my grandfather. And maybe you can sense that too from perhaps a grandparent or someone a little more distant than parents like that. Or perhaps just the sense of how you might have felt towards a baby, an innocent baby or a newborn, where the newborn hasn't done anything yet as far as you know, so there's no reason to have any uh, critique or opinion other than look at this precious thing. I'm so happy it's alive. I'm so happy it's here. I don't care if it has faults or doesn't have faults. And let's see if we can bring that approach to this body sitting here, surrounded in healing light. It is surrounded by this feeling of unconditional love and appreciation for you just being here. There's no interest in deciding about if you're good, if you're bad, what you've done or haven't done or should do, none of that. In a sense, it could be called utterly forgiving. So forgiving that it doesn't have to contemplate what to forgive. It just walks into the room. This energy walks into the room and is immediately forgiving, immediately loving and compassionate. It has it for everyone in all directions, no conditions. And let's tap into that. Let's receive. What does it feel like to receive pure, unconditioned love?
So you can sense that you don't have to be poised in any particular way. You don't have to be anybody. You don't have to pretend to be anybody. You can be sad. You can be happy. You can be a good meditator, a bad meditator. Happy with yourself, not happy with yourself at this moment. See, none of that matters. Because you're completely loved and accepted for exactly the way you are right now and always. And any of the instructions and teachings that come to you, come to you, arrive at you, are in such a way not to fix you. It's to help align you if you so wish to be aligned and completely forgiven, if not. Immediately forgiven, not even a, a thought or a decision to forgive. The energy is that of forgiveness already of pure appreciation and love already. Let's sit and breathe and bask in that silently. as we work here to intensify that energy for you for a minute or two, quietly. If you like to feel different energies or you wish 
to participate in this in that way, that aspect, then you might feel, if you have your palms up, you might feel movement, flickering, a sense of wind or a sense of charge or energy in the hands, in the palms of the hand as the most sensitive area to that stuff, but it's actually everywhere. So we might feel it in our hands the most. But if we can sense that feeling in our hands, we might be able to extrapolate and then sense, okay, there's a, it's also, I can subtly feel it in the, in the arms too. And in the face, the areas of the face as well. Maybe our feet, wherever is sensitive. And get a sense of uh, a visceral sense of of that bright and beautiful energy that we've been working together to encompass you. And our physical body isn't as solid as we think. It's very por porous, and there's all kinds of space, even especially at the molecular level. And so this energy seeps through you easily. It seeps into the physical body very easily. And then for it to seep into your mind and heart, it requires your help. It requires your participation to just be willing to not put up a block with... Uh, different ideas, doubt, skepticism, which are ideas that generally stem from afraid of what's going to happen to me or afraid of how I'm going to feel. And that's, of course, okay if that happens. But it would be nice for you if you can see that, if you can get a sense of is there is it possible that through this feeling that I have now, whatever the feeling might be, whether it's a happy one or sad one, or if you're feeling blocked or uncomfortable, whatever it might be in the entire range of feelings, if you can have a sense of can I be open? to the feeling of love and the willingness around me, the desire around me to, to heal me? Am I willing to allow space for that? Can I allow any feeling that might be up here in me now Can it be open to receiving? Can it too be porous? Just like the physical body. So can I have that feeling, but also just relax? Sometimes we need to Really relax, feel how loved we are by whatever it is that's giving us love. We just allow it. Hey, if, if there's anything out there, if there's anything in my room now that loves me, whether I know it exists or not, whether I care it exists or not, whether I can see it or not, or sense it or not, matters not. But if there's anything available in the ether, in the in the molecules that are there in the room, in the energy of the room, that if there's any of it there that, that loves me or has the ability to heal, 
I'm going to give it permission. I'm going to be just vulnerable here and seep in. And then allow any feelings that emerge to emerge without, to our best of our ability, without getting in their way. And if there's any feeling of hesitation or fear that comes up regarding this, that isn't, that's getting in the way, well then let's see if you can not get in the way of that feeling. So any resistance coming up, Allow that to be love, open to that. See if that can be porous. And allow light in. For some of you, it might help to take a break from sitting where you're sitting and imagine you're transported to somewhere else that just feels wonderful, somewhere wonderful to be. Want to join me in Thailand at the beach? If you like the beach, you might picture the ocean, the sand. relaxing on a really comfortable cot. Maybe you got an umbrella over you. You can feel the wind. You can feel the expansiveness. You can hear the crashing of the waves. And maybe this is a place where you feel safe to just completely relax. Where you can just fully be yourself, which is part of relaxing, not forcing and trying to be someone or something else. Still surrounded by full acceptance and love so you can just relax and be yourself completely and just be happy to be there and happy to be surrounded by love and appreciated what does it feel like to be to know that all the energy around you really appreciates you. It appreciates you so much that you don't have to pick and choose uh, what is worthy of appreciating. Being born, breathing. has nothing to do with what you've done to this moment, no matter how good it might be. It's just fully appreciated because it's beautiful, not for any particular thing that you've done. You might end up calling into memory some things that are worthy of appreciation that you've done, and that's a worthwhile thing to do as well. This energy doesn't mind. It just appreciates. That's its duty. That's its purpose, is to appreciate, to make you feel loved and appreciated as just a human being breathing and just having the potential to do good, to be good, to be kind, to say something nice to be helpful, to have arms, to have legs, to have a working mouth that can speak, a working body that can act, 
all of that is fully is is totally appreciated. Allow yourself to feel appreciated because that's the energy being sent to you now. How does it feel feeling appreciated? It's rejuvenating, isn't it? You can feel that all the work and struggles and all the hard work you've done in this life, it's, it's paid off. because you're appreciated. You're supported, you're loved. Our mistake is often that we believe that the love and appreciation has to come from a particular person. And then we feel, oh, if they're not loving me or, or appreciating me right now, we feel drained or it lowers our energy, but that's because we're sending our energy out to them and because we don't truly understand the abundance of love and light, that it doesn't, people, you know, a personification of love, a personification of, of appreciation and forgiveness and, and these types of things, it, it, that narrow view that it has to come from that one person to feel good really limits us and limits our potential. It's actually allow love and forgiveness to come from wherever it is. And it's being shined at you, shone at you now. It's always available to tap into. It's just coming to you a little stronger now so you can get the taste of it and then hopefully be able to find it again later whenever you need it. Tap into it. Take another minute to just rest at your beach. Be free and happy to be however you are. And be porous, be vulnerable, and allow any emotion and any sensation as best you can. And as you relax, you can get a sense of how relaxed you are. You are relaxed to a certain extent. There might be a tendency to look at the areas that aren't relaxed in us, areas of the body or areas of the mind that feel not relaxed, and then say, oh, no, I'm not relaxed. But there are many areas that are relaxed. So you are relaxed to a certain extent now, and then you can see, can I relax further?
and to help us relax further, let me help transport you now to from the beach to a very still lake. And you can sit on a dock, maybe with your feet dangling, or maybe sitting on a chair. And there's no one around, just you. And you get a sense of how quiet it is, how still it is, and how comfortable. And you can see if you can relax a little further. Just to be here in this very calm and still place and only beings that are able to relax like this are, are welcome into your presence right now. Just see, can I relax even further? And never mind the areas that aren't relaxed. Sometimes trying to make certain areas relax, it's, it's not relaxation that's making them relax. It's an attempt or a, a forcing or a pushing. For this experience, we just sense that our environment is so very peaceful, so very comfortable and still. And we just see if we can let some of that comfort and relaxation and stillness rub off on us. And then we'll all have a certain level of comfort now and relaxation now. And some areas of us will feel, even of our, 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 our mind or our heart, will still feel a little, a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of moving around here and there. And that's totally fine. We allow that to be as it is. And then we sense the, the comfort of our environment again, the quiet, comfortable stillness of it again, and we just allow that experience as well and enjoy it. 